going on, guys? It's Dave Kim for Grand Rapids Rock Alternative 97.9 GRD and Diffuser.FM. I'm at Lollapalooza 2013, where the neighborhood from California, they kicked off the festival at the Petrillo stage earlier today. I saw that, and uh, first time seeing you guys. Uh, I loved it. I yeah. loved all everything all about Shoot it. Shoot me straight. I'm, I'm serious, okay. man. You guys had the crowd going. Yeah, no, it was great. We were uh, a little apprehensive about playing at noon, but uh, as you saw, the crowd was great. Yeah, it absolutely. Filled out. Is this your first um, big festival? Or did you, you played at Coachella, we though, played right? Coachella. Was that your first time? That was our, that was our first big, big festival. Okay, yeah, so yeah. now you got two under your belt. Yeah, I know. How's that feel? It feels great. Both times have been the crowds have been amazing. Does it kind of feel like... Like, all right, where our our decisions have been vindicated, we've made it, so to speak. Um, I, I think it's you know it's tough. You know, we, we obviously we're, we're we're blessed to come player, but you can't ever really be complacent about yeah, it. True, you know, true. you always want to aim for the higher spots. Like, obviously, we come here and we play and we see the crowd and we love it. Yeah. But you know, for us, it's a fire under our ass. We want to be the bands, right. the band, you know, headlining. Right. Day, you know what I mean? Down the road. So Yeah, that's true. I mean, especially how, and no offense to music fans, but they can be fickle. They can forget yeah. you in a flash if you're totally. not constantly in their mind. Yeah. But I don't think you guys really have to worry about that right now because you released um, I Love You back in uh, April. Yeah. And you have the number one alternative single, uh, yes, Sweater Weather. Mm -hmm. I actually heard it in a Buffalo Wild Wings while I'm enjoying my Asian oh. Zing. Uh, oh boneless my wings. Hell yeah. Let me shake your hand. First of all, <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, great establishment. Yes. Second yes. of all, Asian Zing, if I had to get three flavors, it'd be one of the three. Awesome. You just made me a happy Korean. Well, mango habanero is, is my go-to. That's a good one, too. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Though. Spicy garlic, too. Right. Or what? Oh, I think yeah. it's good. Yeah. I think those are my top three. I, I'm glad we can bond over some chicken wings. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, I'm, what I'm really digging uh, is kind of the hip-hop slash R&B vibe right. of the record. Oh. Who are some of your guys' influence? I mean, uh, you know, personally, I, I play drums that bring a lot of the rhythm section, and I grew up listening to, like, you know, Marvin Gaye and Stevie Wonder nice, and, nice. you know, stuff like that. Um, big fan of Aloe Black, who came out. Out, you know, a couple years. He's ago. on that new Avicii song that I'm really digging to. Wake yeah. me up. He's great. He's yeah. great. But yeah, I mean, we all listen to hip hop like all the time. So it just so ha it just happens naturally that like the backbone of our songs, the drums and bass, pretty much, are like the very hip hop influence. Right. Yeah. I mean, the gro I love the grooves, man. It, it, it gets people's bodies moving. Appreciate it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, now, uh, is it? You're a relatively new band. I think you formed what 2011. If uh, is it was that like right? roughly two years ago, a little less than two years ago. Um, how? What do you guys do to say to make yourself stand out from the rest of the pack? Just because there are so many bands out. Everyone has uh, uh, webs, uh, Twitter feed, yeah. and Facebook, and all that stuff. Uh, what What do you think sets you apart from the rest? I mean, we put a lot of time and effort into everything we do. We're, you know, we release everything we release is just as important as the last. Whether that be songs videos, mm -hmm. tour posters, album art, we make all of it. So we do everything in-house within the neighborhood. So we take just as much pride in you know our, our, our album art or a tour poster that people will see for maybe 10 minutes and then it'll get lost in their Facebook feed or whatever. We take just as much pride in doing that as we do with our songs. We want to be a band that offers a full package. You know what I mean? From ev everything we do, vid visuals, audio, you know, you come to a show, we want you to have the right vibe. So we're yeah we're really focused on all of it. You it seems you guys I mean? are really business savvy. Has it always been that way, or did you have to learn that part? Um, we just always knew what we wanted. We've always had this clear cut vision of our band, and you know people always say if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Mm -hmm. So for our album art and stuff like that, you know everything we, we we do, we know what we want. So instead of you know getting somebody else to try and do it, right. we can just do it. You know what I mean? Right. And so far, it's, it's worked out perfectly. Obviously, the videos are done by two of our best friends that we grew up with, um, who they're not in the band, but they're in the neighborhood. Right. You know what I mean? The unofficial members. Yeah, they're, they're not on stage playing with us, but they're just as much a part of the neighborhood as we are. Right. Uh, you guys are pretty busy. You're on tour with the Magic Dragons, or we'll be on tour with them. Uh, you're pretty much booked all the way through November. Yeah. When do you get R&R? Uh, funny enough, we just finished a short stint with them, and we're going to be back with the Magic Dragons in September. But... Uh, in a couple more days, we actually have a couple weeks off mm -hmm. for the first time in a very long time. Are, are you going to see any artists here before you take off to Oceago? 
if I get to, I don't even know because we're we're doing we're playing another uh, after party show tonight at the oh, Subterranean. Wow. Okay. But if we got if we get to, I'd love to see some people. Right. It's that's always the misconception about being in a band is you get to go to these festivals and hang around the whole right. time and see all these bands. But but it's work. I mean, yeah. even being in radio, like we're always constantly in the media area, and you you, you gotta work. So <laughs> speaking yeah. of Imagine Dragons, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what are your plans? Uh, obviously, you just released an album, but are you one of those bands that are constantly riding on the road? Always. And, and writing new music. Always. Would you like release a record on a very maybe every two year basis or something? I don't. I mean, I, it's it's still to be determined, you know, when the next thing will release is. But I'll say this: we have enough for another album right now. You know, I don't think we're we're gonna try and 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 you know do anything with it necessarily yet. I mean, we might have some big plans coming up, but, you know, we are always writing. We have certain songs that, you know, we'll sit in the bus and we'll write completely on Logic and we'll get a computer or a bass or a, a guitar and a bass over and record it. And we have a couple songs that we've jammed during sound checks and flushed them out all the way through. So we, I mean, we've, we're always writing, man. We just love putting out music, and we're young, and we're hungry for it, you know? All right, Brian, thank you so much, Dave. man. From the neighborhood, their album, I Love You's out now. Get it. Like I said Buffalo earlier. Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. Get some Asian zing while you listen to the sweater weather. Mango it's, habanero. <laughs> that too, and spicy garlic. It's Dave, they better be paying us right oh, now. Man, it's Dave Game for Grand Rapids Rock Alternative, 97.9 GRD.